let me show you guys what i'm wearing the attire was casual chic and i only know how to be chic or casual so my boyfriend picked out my outfit this dress is from reformation sweater is from tiktok shop these are chanel and her bag is kate jewelry from mexico from japan aura ring and just like a plethora of bracelets i always wear and then the necklace i'm wearing is from varto jewelry it's just really cute dainty solid gold heart the event is in la and it's for the brand philosophy they are launching a new product and they were nice enough to send an uber all the way to orange county to pick us up and take us back home let's get in this uber one thing about me is i'm always going to get car sick so I have to stay focused, but I thought this was so cute. My boyfriend was going through all of the photos that he took of me before we left. He's the epitome of an Instagram boyfriend. And then I saw the viral apartment building that was getting graffitified by an artist. And I think he has literally done every single window at this point. And then at this point, I realized I took us to the wrong location. The brand had sent two different addresses, one for parking and one for the actual event. And I took the Uber to the parking structure. So then we had to take yet another Uber to the actual location. But luckily, it was only like a five minute drive away. We arrived at the event only five minutes late. And I'm going to tell you guys what it's actually like to go to an event as an influencer. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It can be really intimidating. So definitely bringing a plus one is a great safety net. But I will say each brand always has amazing people that make sure to come up to talk to you, make you feel very welcome. And that is very much appreciated because, again, it can just be a lot of socializing at once. I also feel like everybody else is scared and intimidated. So everybody's just trying to keep to themselves, trying to be as nice as possible. But I feel like in these situations, it's just important to know that the way you're feeling, everybody else is probably feeling the same way. And this was so funny. They were doing headshots at this event. I wish my boyfriend and I could have done them together. I think it would have been so funny. See this photo. This is going to be my new LinkedIn profile photo. They could have uh, done some airbrushing. I also think what makes a great event is there's different things that you can do so you aren't just standing around looking confused. Philosophy actually had a lot of people that work on their team, specifically the scientists behind their products, dermatologists that they work with, doctors, the brand ambassadors, for a ton of people to talk to and so much to learn. I love when brands do a full presentation so you're able to learn so much about the brand, their thought process when it comes to creating these amazing skincare products. There really is just so much to learn about. We got a goodie bag. Let's see what's inside. A micro delivery resurfacing peel. This is the Dose of Wisdom Dark Circle Brightening Eye Cream. This was the whole reason for the event. I love this eye cream. It's really, really good. It has vitamin C, it has caffeine, it has hyaluronic acid, it has all the good bits. This is the Hope Smooth Glow Multitasking Moisturizer. I feel like this is their most goaded product. This is the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. I feel like this is what like really put philosophy on the map. Dress of Wisdom Serum. Then we headed over to the Arts District for dinner. Ate at this really yummy Mediterranean restaurant called Bezel. We had hummus, a salad, and this really yummy Wagyu dish with coconut rice. It was a really fun Wednesday night out. Thank you so much, Philosophy, for an amazing event.